Hi guys, Josh Thackeray reporting for Tottenham versus Sunderland. We just beat them 4-1 here at the lane. I've got Daniel with me. Daniel, what did you make of that? Uh, well, first of all, my name is Ben. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> Ben. Sorry, mistake there. I've got Ben, one of our regulars. I should know that. Ben, what did you make of the game? Uh, yeah, I thought it was... Uh, first half was pretty flat. Um, but, you know, we came out second half. Uh, Pochettino must have really stuck into him because it was poor first half. Everyone looks tired. Why do you think that was? Uh, maybe he could have been drained from the Leicester game. Maybe morale was a bit low. Maybe confidence was a bit low. But, you know, we came out second half. Pochettino must have really stuck into him because they came out so much better. Uh, Ericsson, you know, he was fantastic in the second half, much better than he was in the first half because he kept giving the ball away. But, yeah, for a second half was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I thought there was some sloppy, um, some sloppy errors in the first half yeah. and I thought we tidied that up. Um, should we be getting excited about this win? Is it, is, it, is it something that we should be over the moon about or is it business as usual today? Uh, yeah, you know, a win's a win, isn't it? But, you know, obviously we've had 4-1 twice uh, previously here uh, City and West Ham obviously they're much bigger wins mu much bigger wins than this you know this is just a standard win but you know it's a good margin get our goal difference right up um, and yes yeah, real real good confidence boost. Do you know what a lot of Spurs fans will be thinking what was the difference between today's performance and Wednesday's now I know it's different quality opposition um, when we come across sort of more stronger teams you know there's going to be a question mark whether we can replicate a performance like that what do you think? Dembele was a difference, 100% Dembele was a difference, you know, we've missed him so much since he's been out and it's proved that because we haven't won since he last played um, and yeah, he was absolutely fantastic today, uh, marked his return with a goal and he was just all around brilliant. Fantastic, who's your man of the match today? Dembele, 100% Dembele, uh, played absolutely fantastic, really pulling strings in the middle, uh, you know, skillful as always, you know, so calm in the ball, so strong, you just can't get, get it off him, I can't imagine what it's like for you. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Now, just tell us, Transfer window, if you had that one transfer that you could bring in to the lane, who would it be? Uh, specifically, I can't think of a name on the top of my head, but we definitely need a striker because, uh, you know, Kane is in certain games, not today, he does look very isolated. You know, teams, you know, they don't, they always double up on him. But, you know, today he was fantastic, but we definitely need a striker because, say, if Kane's not available... Go on, give me a name. Shane Long, possibly. I think maybe... You know, maybe he's a bit bit too old for a for a standard Tottenham signing, uh, but you know he fits the bill. Uh, he looks looks good, um, and he, he looks like a player that you know would fit the way that we play. And he's not too similar to Kane, which is good, because then if he comes on, you know they're not sort of you know too similar, and it can work. Great. Okay. So Shane Long, that's uh, that's one I've not heard before. So there we are. Thanks for the analysis. Once again, let us know what you think at the bottom. Leave your comments on our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter.